Uh, so this is the you mentioned the comments inside that uh, we we have uh, listeners from Paul Trade the Banga and said we want food now. We are dying. We are yes. fed up with the condemnations and appeals. We want an action now. What an action going to take it now? And what action you is going to take it now to stop this farming? So, you know, one of our top priorities was to get the border crossing open at Adre, where you have over a million people uh, inside who are already at famine conditions. And I think one of the things we're doing is not just uh, pushing to get that uh, open, but as you said, it's got to translate into convoys of trucks. Those trucks have to get across the border. We have to make sure the RSF is guaranteeing their safety and safe delivery to get in. We need to make sure that that gets to the people who are most vulnerable, and then that continues. That's exactly the kind of result we're trying to produce. Same thing on the issue of the shellings, uh, the bombings, and the violence against civilians. Uh, we are working on ways that we can ensure compliance with that. Uh, we'd be able to do more if SAF was here. It is a limit, but it is not a total barrier. We are going to continue to work on uh, agreements from the parties to enforce, again, the agreements they've already made under the JETA process. Um, and we hear exactly what you're saying. The Sudanese people have said they want action now, and that's why we went forward with this initiative. We're not going to let anything hold us back from doing what we can to protect civilians in Sudan. Um, but again, we could do more uh, with greater participation.